So now let's look at characters or chars. And the way you'd uh, allocate a character is you'd say something like char and then variable name you want. So I'm just gonna call this first letter equals. And then the way you define a char is you just put a character inside quotation marks like this. And so I'll just explain what each of this does. So this char part right here allocates one byte of memory to be able to store an ASCII value of a character. And we get that address. And then this first letter part basically um, writes down that address with the first letter variable. So whenever we call first letter, we know where to look for the value that we allocated to it. And then when we have this equals a part right here, what this does is when we have it in quote a single character in quotations like this, it knows it's a char. So what C++ will do or what the program will do is it will look in the ASCII table. So in the ASCII table, we have these 127 characters. And since we only have one byte, we can only store up to 255 numbers. So we can only use the characters from this table. And it will look for the character A, and it will look for its uh, number, which is 97. It will then convert 97 into binary, and then store that in our memory. So that's what that looks like here. So we can say, see that 97 in binary is 1100001. And this is what our memory byte will look like. Remember, we have one byte with eight bits. And these green parts right here are where we have ones and then these are just zeros like this. So we have our binary representation of the ASCII value of our character. And then whenever we are reading back the character, so if we had something like um, std c out, c out, and then we gave it our first letter, what happens here is it will look first find the memory at the address that first letter is associated with. It will read in the value in that byte, and um, since it's a char, it knows it only needs to read one byte. So it will read in the value of that byte and then convert it into a decimal. So this will get this one one zero 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 one will get converted into the decimal ninety seven. It might not even convert it to a decimal. I'm not sure. And then it will look. It might just use the binary part right here, and it will look um, for the character that it's associated with which is A, and then it will return that to us. So that's essentially how um, the uh, C++ basically handles storing characters. So now what I'm going to do is show a little demo here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into here like this. So again, don't worry about this print bytes function. All it does is it prints out the memory block so we can have a look at it. But it basically creates a char called the first letter. Then we print out its address. Remember, if we use and like this in front of a variable name, we can print out the address that it's associated with. We print out its size, which should be one byte. Then we print out its value. And finally, we print the, we use the print bytes and we print the, basically the block of memory that it's associated with. So let's have a look at this. So I need to compile this and let's run this. And we can see that uh, we have an address right here. And again, um, this is in hexadecimal, but if I change this to uh, hexadecimal to decimal converter, and then I enter this in, this is the actual like address, I guess, or human number address of the memory. Then we have the size, which is one byte, and then the value is A, because remember the binary gets converted um, back into a character using the ASCII table right here, so, and we get back our character A. And then in our memory block, we can see that the value of 97 has been stored into the byte. So we have 1100001 like this. And if I were to change this character to Z or something like that, and then I um, recompile it, and then I run this again. Uh, we can see that this is what we have in our memory right now. Um, this right here. And if I just convert that back. So if I convert from binary to um, decimal. Yep. Convert that. We can see 122 is what gets stored. And if we look down here, Z is what, indeed 122. So basically it just stores the ASCII value into the memory. And to prove this furthermore, what we can actually do is if we wanted to store B, we don't have to give the character B. We can actually store, um, actually let's store F. So we can just put um, 
102, which is F. So I can just literally enter in 102. Because remember, whatever we write in here is basically what we put into the memory. So this will allocate one byte, and then we can put into it whatever we want. So we can literally just put the number in if we want. If we put a character, it will get converted into an ASCII number, or we can put the number in directly like this. And again, if I compile it, and um, let me just clear this up, and I run this, we can see that um, it still comes back as F. And the reason is, is because first letter has been allocated as a char, so when we read whatever's in first letter, even though we put an integer in there, it will get converted back into a character, and we can see the character right there. So that's essentially how C++ will store characters into memory using the char primitive data type.